Hey everybody, Shooting Shit TV with a new gun. That's right, I picked up an SCCY Firearms CPX2. I ended up getting this gun for $169 plus $18 for shipping and tax. I believe it was altogether uh, $190, then $25 transfer cost. Yeah, it comes in a nice box. Standard warnings and made in the USA. There's the warnings. <clears throat> I'm going to cover that up so you guys don't see my serial number. Uh, you know, pretty straightforward. Let's open it up. You got your Palmetto State Armory sticker. Some swag. Uh, this thing comes with two magazines. So I'm seeing one here, 10 rounds. Looks like a double stack mag. Kind of, kind of very similar to. Uh, it looks very similar to a Beretta magazine. Huh, I should do some testing on that. Nice, comes protected. Let's kind of get a key with a. Looks like a lock. Now that's pretty cool. That's easier to use than normal. Like that, made out of plastic. Decent instruction manual. They actually have a 380, which is the CPX4, and I also heard they have a DVG, which is a, um, a striker fire, which is interesting. Made in Daytona Beach. Nice manual. What else do we have in the box? Uh, I don't know. Whatever this is. Okay. Warranty information. Lifetime warranty on these guys. Uh, that is... Yeah, I heard it was lifetime, yeah. Yeah, lifetime from date of purchase. Limited lifetime warranty. So that's cool. Lifetime warranty. So let's look at the gun. There she is. Let's do a quick safety check. It is unloaded. This is cool. So I was totally expecting to get a curved trigger, standard curved trigger. That is neat. Let's uh, hammer fired CPX2. Let's pull the trigger and see how it is. Eh, not terrible for double action only. There's the other magazine. Let's test to see if it's. Yeah, it drops free. Mag release is nice. Yeah, you know what I noticed? <laughs> I could fix that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the uh, front sight is canted. Interesting. So I do have a Glock uh, front sight screw, uh, or whatever this thing is, an attachment. And I'm pretty sure this should fit. So we're going to loosen that up a little bit. Yeah, it's not even that tight. And we're going to see if we can straighten that front sight out, because... Uh, I definitely will not hit the broadside of a barn if I don't fix that. I think we're good now. So let's assemble this back together and see what happens. See how easy it is to assemble it. We'll let's start with the barrel. Okay, there we go. Let's bring the skulls like that. Let's put it back together. What you do is put this in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just lock it back like that. Tip the barrel forward and line up the hole there. And then you just take your pin. And it should just drop right in there. You should feel it because the barrel will lock. Close it up. All right, let's get out to the range, give it a shot. Okay, out at the range, finally. All right, so today we have some things set up. We have a grill that we're gonna shoot. I mean, it's just the grill that I found, emptied it out. Let's just see if this cheap Chinese grill can survive. 
let's say we'll shoot it with a full metal jacket. Then we'll shoot a full metal jacket at this spiral ham and see if it goes through. I think it's still kind of frozen in the middle, but hey, it can act like, you know, flesh. So pretty interesting text. We'll hit it with a hollow point. And then we'll shoot this, uh, this is a cement board. I think that's what they call it. We'll see if we can uh, get a bullet to penetrate that. I think it was pretty brittle, but you never know. So let's get set up. This is going to be some wolf, I think, or Tula. This is the steel case garbage. Underneath is going to be Fed Arms mixed bag. And this is the magazine that has a uh, shaking to it. Let's see how that works in this. But I'm excited to get the shot on this. I haven't tried this gun out yet, so I'm excited. All right, so let's first, I want to back up just a tad, and we're going to try hitting the bottom of that grill right there. See it over there? So let's give it a shot. Let's start off. Get my grip right. All right, first shot. Good shot placement. All right, so we're going to try for the top next. Ah. Oh. Pretty good shot placement on this thing. It's hitting where I'm aiming, so that's all I can ask for. Give it a shot again. That one skimmed off the top. Nice. Nice. Hey, let's see if we can hit those buttons. Maybe. Yep, wow. So we got a failure straight away. A little weird. I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Let's drop the magazine. Okay. Let's see if it fires without a magazine. Let's see if it has a magazine disconnect. I don't think it does. That was cool. Fell right through the handle. Good one failure, but again, this is the first shots I've ever taken with this thing, so it needs to break in. And let's see if we could hit that extension there where the has the extra burner. All right, let's see how we did. There's some of the. There's my first shot, my second shot. A uh, couple here. Here are the shots here. This one skimmed. Let's see if it went through. Easily went through, not a problem. Dust, cheap pop metal. What do you expect? Take a look at the exit wounds or exit track here. Okay, now at the bottom there. All right, here are the hollow points. Here are the Winchesters. 147 grain. SXT. Okay. See if we can hit the ham. And then we'll obliterate it after uh, we check out the shot. So here we go. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. One shot, two shot, yeah, here's one exit, another exit, and I think I missed the third one, but whatever. So these guys left, they went in. And I'm guessing, let me feel in there. Yeah, I had some expansion, but not much. To make this more fun, I took the ham out of the plastic so we could really see the damage. So let's finish off this magazine. I got seven more. Now I smell like ham. So there's that. 
Here we go. Here we go. That cycled perfectly. Woo! <laughs> wow. I don't want to touch it anymore, but it's, all, it's a spiral ham, so it was already cut. So, pretty cool. All right, so here's some just standard federal. 115 grain. So here we go. Cement board, 115 grain, full metal jacket. Ran flawlessly. Still smoking. Oh. Went through without a problem. All right. I got five more of the Federal loaded up. Let's see if it can go through four sheets of that cement board. Five shots. One failure. I want to get that stuff in my nose. I want to hold my breath. There's the shots. And they went through. I don't think you're going to protect yourself with cement board and hiding behind that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool surplus ammo. Let me guess you can see it. I'm trying to let you see the head stamp, but who knows if it's gonna gonna uh, focus. So this is what the bullets look like. This stuff is really hot. So shall be interesting shooting. We'll just shoot five rounds of it into that ham. Stuff is snappy, so. Tip five rounds on that ham. Smooth. Let's see. Wow. That is some fatty, disgusting ham. And the animals are going to love this shit. Okay, I'll load it up. First, it's going to be the hollow points, Winchester hollow points. Okay, here we go. Okay, now it's going to be the hot ammo. Wow. <laughs> that is some destruction. We even got that. Everything passed through that. Not a problem. So this was the SCCY or Sky CPX2 9mm Roba Quad Lock. This is the, I believe, the third generation of this gun. Comes with that sexy trigger. I actually called the factory and it wasn't a mistake. This is just how they come now. You get that nice flat trigger. Um, I have heard for years people complaining about this gun. My, my first impression, as long as you break this thing in with probably 200 rounds, you're not going to have a problem with it. This is actually a really, really good option for self-defense. It's made with quality. The price point is absolutely amazing for what you get. This is a great gun. And I'm happy I waited to the third generation because I did hear that some of the first ones were a little, little sketch. But hey, I got a good one, I think. 
sharp looking pistol feels good in my hand so i'm happy with this purchase so it is true it's not always about spending tons of money to get a good gun no you could find with research a good pistol or rifle or whatever that's dependable for a reasonable price so happy hunting and happy shooting thank you for watching shooting shit tv signing off